Getting views on Snapchat Spotlight is 10 times easier than TikTok, YouTube, or literally any other social media platform. But there are some very important strategies you need to implement or else you're never going to get past 100 views. Hi, my name's Trent and if you're new to the channel, I make videos on how creators can monetize their content as well as gain more views on literally every social media platform. But today we'll be specifically focusing on Snapchat Spotlight and this is honestly probably going to be my last ever video on Spotlight just because I've covered it so much. So for that reason, I am going to share everything I know when it comes to getting viral content on the platform. Now, before I go into the strategies that I've personally implemented to get the views you're seeing up on screen right now, we first need to go over why Snapchat Spotlight is the easiest social media platform to grow on. And the truth is kind of simple. It's honestly because the content on Spotlight is, well, trash. So it's safe to say if you're making high quality videos, spending hours and hours editing content, Snapchat Spotlight is not the platform you want to be posting this content on. I definitely look for other avenues like YouTube or TikTok where the algorithm will actually benefit users that create high quality content. With Snapchat Spotlight, it is quite literally the opposite. A YouTube short I spent five hours editing is probably going to get less views than whatever the hell this is. Now, truthfully, I'm not 100% sure why the spotlight algorithm favors such a low quality content but i do have my theories on two main reasons why now the first reason is because i believe the age demographic when it comes to snapchat spotlight users is much lower than all the competitors like tiktok and youtube shorts and typically with a younger age demographic you can usually get away with posting a lot lower effort quality content that is much shorter in time frame i'm talking like four to six six second long clips usually do pretty well with the younger age demographic. People like to call this like brain rot content and I'm sure you've seen it from time to time on other social media platforms but when it comes to Snapchat Spotlight it is abundant. Now the reason I believe this to be the case is because anytime I open a Snapchat Spotlight comment section I literally feel like I get transported all the way back to grade school. I mean just look at this comment section and tell me that there's not a single person above the age of 12 that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you now this theory that spotlight has a much younger demographic isn't a hundred percent confirmed but what is is that spotlight's algorithm is much more tame when it comes to content compared to tiktok youtube shorts even ig reels what i mean by this is that if you go on youtube shorts or tiktok and just find content you found online and repost it without doing any editing at all to the content there is a very high chance that your videos are going to get shadow banned and i mean this makes sense social media platforms don't want you just repurposing content without changing anything to it at all but when it comes to spotlight they are very lax in this regard this means that you can upload content on spotlight that's technically not even yours barely alter it and still get thousands of views on your videos because they're highly unlikely to never get shadow banned now it does stay in the requirements to earn a revenue on Snapchat Spotlight that the content must be your own, but this is such a massive gray area because as long as you add something to the video, and when I mean something, I quite literally mean adding text on the screen or maybe just doing a reaction with your face on the screen in the bottom left corner, this counts as your own content in Snapchat's eyes. So while technically you're just repurposing or re-uploading content, in Snapchat's eyes, it's technically your content and your video has a high likelihood of going viral if it went viral on other social media platforms. So with this in mind, the easiest way ever to get views when it comes to Snapchat Spotlight is through remixes. If you don't know what a remix is, it's essentially like the duet feature on TikTok, except you can do 
a lot more versatility with it. But where I see it most common on Snapchat Spotlight is that people will remix already popular videos on the platform and they'll essentially react to it. And I use react in quotes because they are not reacting to it. All they're doing is just putting their face in the bottom left corner so you can't even see it. And so that the main focus is on whatever the video is about. But the reason these remixes do so well is because for whatever reason, Spotlight promotes them and it's literally the easiest content to pump out ever. You can make a thousand react videos in one day and just pump them out like automation. And eventually one of those is gonna go viral and get a ton of views. Don't believe me? Literally go on Spotlight right now, scroll through your feed and see how many remix videos come up on your algorithm and then click on their account and then see all the videos that user uploads. I guarantee they're all remixes and they're getting thousands of views just reacting to people's content. Now there is a massive caveat to this is that you're going to have to show your face, but if you're not comfortable with showing your face, keep on watching this video. Because like I was stating earlier in this video, you can repurpose content as long as you add something to the video. And when I mean something, that means something as little as adding a caption on the screen. So I'm going to take you through a mini tutorial on how I would start repurposing content to go viral on Snapchat Spotlight. And the first step is finding your niche. Spotlight works very similarly to other social media algorithms where having a niche is essential to getting views because Spotlight's automatically going to find the type of users that would enjoy your content. Now I'm going to pull up my phone right now and the niche I'm going to run with is going to be roller coaster content. So like I stated earlier, Spotlight is incredibly lax when it comes to repurposed content. So right now I am just on TikTok and I'm scrolling through to find videos that would do well for the roller coaster niche. Now I'm looking for videos that don't have text. So you can see this video that I have pulled up right now now has text on the screen and I don't want that for my Snapchat spotlight video because I want to add my own text. So I'm going to keep on scrolling until I can find a video that looks engaging that doesn't have any text on the screen. So this video right here looks pretty good. It has like a steep drop. It's pretty unique and it might be engaging to Snapchat spotlight users, but I kind of want to find something that's like really going to grab the user's attention and bam, I think we found one right here. I'm almost positive this video has, yeah, it's definitely a fake video, but because it's just so outrageous, I know it would do well on the algorithm and you could easily add some type of caption to this. And the perfect thing is that there's currently no editing to this video. So we could literally edit whatever we want within this Snapchat. And if you had watched one of my previous Snapchat spotlight videos, you would know that you have to add some type of Snapchat effect in order for your video to be eligible for monetization. So in order to earn money through Snapchat spotlights monetization program, you need to add some type of effect to your video. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the link of this TikTok video and then I'm gonna look up this website right here which is called sssstick.io is just download TikTok videos without the watermark so after hitting download I'm now going to select without watermark and I'm going to hit download all right so now I'm gonna go over to my snapchat spotlight I'm gonna go to the top right here where it states upload a video or create one and I'm going to select upload a video I'm gonna go ahead and choose that roller coaster video and now I'm just going to shorten it so so like I was stating earlier, Snapchat Spotlight's demographic, or at least what I believe their demographic is very young. And when it comes to a very young audience, you want to keep it short. It needs to be short and snappy. It doesn't really matter if it's low effort or like fake, like this video is literally a fake roller coaster video. They will eat that up. They're going to love this video, but it does need to be short. Right now, the video I downloaded from TikTok is 44 seconds, which is absolutely way too long. So I'm just going to find the most engaging part, which is like right where it just like gets so unrealistic and just starts dropping people. So I'm going to set it to around eight seconds, which honestly, I still think is kind of long when it comes to Snapchat Spotlight, which I know sounds ridiculous, eight seconds. But let me tell you, a lot of the most viewed videos when it comes to Snapchat Spotlight are very short in duration. So do keep that in mind. You want to keep your videos incredibly short when it comes to Spotlight. But now 
that our video is only eight seconds long, we need to add some type of filter effect, or you can simply add a caption, which is what we're going to do as it's probably the easiest thing that you can add to the video. I'm just going to ask some like question within the caption, like, would you ride this and maybe add in some type of emoji. Then I'm going to add in a sticker at the top right. I'm going to hold down on that sticker and I'm going to set the duration. But I think just rose my Snapchat. All right, great. My Snapchat just crashed. I'm going to do this process all over again. And we're just not going to add that sticker in because for whatever reason, it's just causing the app to crash. I'm going to do about seven seconds there, add in the caption again, and we are just going to go ahead to next. Now you can choose to add in some type of music so they have a whole sound audio. Typically, I found that adding music doesn't help your video grow at all the way that like it does on TikTok and other social media platforms. Wouldn't really care. You can add music if you want. If you don't, it's not going to hurt your video. And then, yeah, next you just want to select spotlight and then submit to the account that you want to post on. When it asks you for a description you can add a description if you want but typically descriptions and hashtags literally don't matter when it comes to spotlight it's kind of weird but some of the most viewed videos i posted on spotlight bear in mind i don't use spotlight a ton some of the most viewed videos i've ever posted have had no hashtags or no description whatsoever we're gonna want to allow remixing that's important and yeah then you can just post the spotlight and you're off to the races it is that easy that should take you less than then two to three minutes realistically. So you could probably pump out, I'm not even kidding, like 50 of these videos in one day. All right, so now you know some strategies that you guys can implement to get more views on Snapchat Spotlight. Let's talk about how you can actually get paid and you're probably not gonna like the answer because Spotlight used to pay creators thousands of dollars for bare minimum views. However, this has drastically changed. And if you're curious on that, I made an entire video on how you can get paid through Snapchat Spotlight. Light. But realistically, the best way to earn money when it comes to Snapchat is through Snapchat shows. This is how creators like this 15 year old kid are making millions of dollars a year just through content automation. And thankfully, literally last week, I got my very own show, which is all approved and I'm working on it behind the scenes. And if you're interested in getting your own Snapchat show, I made a discord server down below where you can interact with like minded people in the community that are also interested in getting your very own Snapchat show. But if you're really interested and serious about getting your own Snapchat show, I'd highly suggest looking into the Kingdom Club as it's the only place on the internet showcasing a behind the scenes look of what a Snapchat show looks like the revenue you can make, the best niches, all those topics that you want to learn about are coming to the Kingdom Club. And keep in mind, this is quite literally the only place on the entire internet at the moment that is talking about Snapchat shows this in depth. It's such a gate kept topic just because of how lucrative it actually is. So that will be linked down in the description as well. But if you have any additional questions, make sure to comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.